News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. With no details on a homicide investigation in FAR, we've learned the man's body, who was found in a field last week, had an arrest warrant out for him for, quote, continuous sexual assault of a child. Now, three teens are in jail in connection to this case. Two of them are brothers. Their mother told police that her sons assaulted the man after they found out that he was sexually molesting their nine-year-old sister. So far, more than 15,000 people have signed an online petition calling for the release of the teens from jail. And officials at DHR Health tell us that the Valley's supply of monoclonal antibody treatment that helps fight off the Omicron variant is running low in the Valley. Right now, it's being saved only for patients who really need it. More doses have been requested from the state, but they aren't expected to arrive until the beginning of next week. And starting today, pre-registration is encouraged but not required at FEMA's COVID testing site in Edinburgh. Officials say that you can register once you show up to the park. We're told that this change is being made in an effort to accommodate more people. And turning to weather, it was a cool and wet start to our day, but we're clearing out with temperatures reaching the lower 70s today. But the sunshine will only last for a day. The clouds move back in tomorrow. That's your News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.